Hello, my name is John and I'm the science educator for Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. And we are in our exhibit called How Does It Work? Sponsored by Ann and John Johnson. And we're all the way in the back at our science station that is sponsored by Gulf Coast Medical Foundation and the May W. Tape DDS Pediatric Dentistry. And today we are gonna learn about how clouds form and then we're gonna learn how to spot different clouds outside. In order to make a cloud at home, you just need a few different materials and it starts with our two liter bottle. You'll need a bike pump and this bike pump has a little stopper on the end. And we will be using some rubbing alcohol to speed up our experiment. So you will need some adult supervision for this part of the experiment. And when we start it, you'll have to have some goggles on because there's gonna be rushing air out of the bottle. We wanna make sure we protect our eyes. And then at the very end, we're gonna do a little at-home craft using these little cotton clouds to help us identify different clouds we might see up in the sky. To start, you'll take your rubbing alcohol and you'll put a little bit in our bottle. And you wanna make sure that you swirl it around a little bit so the bottle's nice and coated. Now the reason we're using rubbing alcohol instead of water is because rubbing alcohol evaporates a lot faster. So basically it's gonna give us a cloud a lot quicker than if you were to use water. But you can use water instead. The cloud will just be a little harder to see. But now that our bottle is ready, you'll take your bike pump and you're gonna plug up your bottle. So now we're gonna start pumping our bike pump just like we're filling up a bicycle tire. So every time you push this down, you are putting more air molecules into the bottle, you're pushing them down, and then we will release all of this air that we're adding. And so you will hear a very loud pop when I take the cap off, and that's the air rushing out really fast. So let's give it a try. And we have a cloud. The reason the cloud formed so quickly in our bottle is because the air was able to rush out of the bottle really quickly. And when that happened, it expanded really fast and the molecules got really cold and slow as they expanded. And it was able to transition from a gas to a liquid droplet that we were able to see. Now this actually happens outside, it just happens on a, at a slower rate. But as hot air is rising through our atmosphere, it is expanding slower than we did here, but that is essentially how clouds form. So what we're gonna do is a quick little experiment, almost more like a craft, to make a little model for us to understand the different clouds you'll see outside. To create your cloud model at home, you'll use a piece of construction paper, that'll be your base of the project, you'll need cotton balls for your clouds, glue stick to hold all your clouds down, and then a marker and ruler to help label your whole model, the different cloud types, and then also how high in the atmosphere these clouds form. Once you have your labels on your paper, we're gonna start with the lower clouds. We're gonna start with stratus. This is a flat, wide layer cloud, and the word stratus means layer and these usually form below 6,000 feet. So then we have cumulus, and the word cumulo means piles of clouds or heap of cloud. And that's why we have these puffy white clouds that float in our sky, and those form between 2,500 and 6,000 feet. When we move higher in the atmosphere, between 6,000 and 12,000 feet, this is where we see this new word, alto. And alto means mid-altitude clouds, meaning high. So they are higher than our lower layer clouds. But then you have alto cumulus and alto stratus. So now you know that you have heaps of clouds and a layer of clouds forming higher in the atmosphere. Then between 12,000, 18,000 and higher, this is where we get into our cirro and cirrus clouds. So the word cirro is high altitude clouds, or meaning wisp of air. So you can have cirro cumulus and cirrus clouds forming higher than 18,000 feet. 
And now you've seen that this huge pile of clouds that go up the entire layer of our atmosphere, this is a cumulonimbus cloud. The word nimbo or nimbus means brings rain. And so I've added little rain droplets down at the bottom. And in order to make it a little darker, like our dark cumulonimbus clouds we see in the sky, I just took a black marker and went over the clouds like this. Thank you all for tuning in today to learn about the different clouds that you might see in the sky and making a cool cloud model with me. Now, if you guys are following on our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. And again, my name is John, coming to you from Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center, and we will see you guys next time.